Hey, this is Chris Menard. Today, I've got a great treat for you. I've been emailed several times about doing this, um, and I've been putting it off because it's somewhat of a long video, but I'm going to show you how to do a break-even analysis with multiple products. And I don't know if you remember, but I've already sh shown how to do a break-even analysis chart in Excel for one product. You can see that I only have 50 units. There's the price. But today, I'm going to do it with multiple products. And to make this easy, I'll put this video, which is the chart, and then what I'm doing today, which is a multiple product break-even analysis, I'll put it on my blog. So product A goes for $100, $200, and $700. That is information that you have to know. So this applies whether you have two products or 200. You can do this in Excel. And then you have to figure out your variable costs, which you should know those. If you're manufacturing, that would be direct material, direct labor, other variable cost per unit. Even if you're not in manufacturing, if you're a service industry, this exercise still applies to you. So therefore, our contribution margin per unit, 50 for A, and just autofill over. Now here comes the tricky part. I've got to figure out what percentage of the products are product A, product B, and product C every month. So I'm making this up. 20% is A, 30% is B, and let's make 50% C. Now from here, let's see if I already have this available. Perfect. That way I'm not sitting here typing. So we know product A goes for 100 bucks, and we know 20% is going to be product A every month. So the weighted average price is simply 100 times the 20%. $20. Autofill to the right. Weighted average cost is the $50 for product A times the 20%. Autofill to the right. Let's total those up. So therefore, our weighted average contribution margin for our three products is 125 bucks, and I put it in bold. Let me go ahead and explain one little item. This information right here, I'll put it in yellow. You have to know that. That's up for you to figure out. The rest of this is honestly just formulas except for this right here. You've got to come up with what product mix you have. And you could actually figure that out from a previous month if you took the units and divided by the total. That would give it to you also. So the rest of these are just formulas. So I did all of this, step one, to get to that 125 right here. Now, our fixed cost is, I'm making this up, 50,000 bucks. So whether we do 500 units a month, or 2000 a month, or 12000 we have $50,000 in fixed costs, which could be rent, insurance, supervisor salary. So if I take that and divide by the 125, which is the weighted average contribution margin, 400 units. So now that we know we got to do a total of 400 units, I type the word units. I'm going to use an absolute reference here. The 400 total units a month times that 20%. So 80 units. My bad. I need to absolute reference E13. So there you go. Dollar sign E, dollar sign 13. That means don't move it. Times B6. Now I'll get some numbers here. E13 times C6. Perfect. We're in business. I'm going to total those up because they should equal 400, and they do. So 400 and 400 together, they equal. So before I move on, one last thing. I want to make sure, you notice that's 100%, 20, 30, and 50. That's going to screw everything up because it's got to be 100%. So let's go total this here. And then I could sit here and, you know, just not catch that right there. So what I would do, this is me, I'm on the 100%. I'm going to go and make a new rule. 
I'm going to simply say equals the 100%, which is E6, not equal to 1, because 1 is 100%. Click on Format. I'm going to put it in a gray color. And I'm even going to make it bold and hit OK. And when I hit OK, I hope nothing happens. Perfect. 31. Look at that, 101. 30. It's good. So it kind of stands out if it's not equaling 100%. And I say, oh, I need to fix that. So there we go. So now we're in business. So now the last part of this, let me collapse the ribbon, is I need to figure out, my bad, revenue, variable cost, contribution margin, fixed cost, and net income. So our revenue is 80 times 100 plus 200 times 120 plus 700 times 200. You can sit there and do all that, but if you recall last week, I taught you how to do an array function. I'm going to highlight the price per unit times the number of units. And you must use the keyboard. You cannot do this with the mouse. Control, Shift, Enter makes it an array function. You should see some braces in the formula bar. That means it's an array function. One more time, our variable cost is the sum. There's my cost times units. Control, Shift, Enter. So I hope we end up, I can already tell we're going to end up with 50,000 bucks. Contribution margin. Our fixed cost is going to be a 3D reference equals E12. So if that changes where my mouse is, it changes down here. So don't type in 50,000. And then finally, the last thing is net income is that minus that and perfect. So that is how you do a break even analysis with multiple products in Microsoft Excel. And feel free, if this you're an accounting student, an MBA student, you're probably going to need this. Managers, company owners, thank you for your time. Feel free to contact me for Microsoft Excel training.